it is another month where we go through all of the grocery shopping I do in the entire month to feed my family of six. Now, because last month we went a little crazy and spent over $700 on like back to school, I am sitting here a little overwhelmed is not the right word, perplexed at why my family isn't eating more food. So the goal for September of 2022 is to consume the food that we have. It's not gonna go to waste, it won't be expired, we're not wasting money, and huge benefit, I'm gonna spend a whole lot less money than I have previously. So get ready for not very many grocery hauls in the entire month of September, and hopefully a shockingly low grocery bill for my family of six. It was September 2nd, the place was Costco. The dollar amount spent, way too much for the beginning of September. <laughs> now, it is true I didn't buy meat. Wait, that's a lie. <laughs> it's true I didn't buy ingredients for dinners, uh, but the new ad came out at Costco. I had to go and get a few of the items for school lunches that are deemed necessary by my children. It's still better than paying $4 a lunch for the school lunch the kids don't even like anyway, so let's, Take a look-see. We definitely needed deli meat and cheese. So I have this Black Forest ham and this three pack of sliced oven roasted turkey breast. These do freeze really nicely. So you could just like crack one off, freeze the rest. That's what I'm gonna do. I grabbed this Tillamook pepper jack and habanero jack cheese. While this one is spicy, it's not unbearable. One big bag of tortilla chips for Haley's birthday. We've already cracked into that. This was on sale at Costco, so I wanted to Give it a go, try it out. Do you guys like this kind of bacon? This was expensive. I mean, that'll do pig. The baby bells were on sale, so I grabbed two of the black wrapper, which is my kid's favorite. I believe it's white cheddar. And then the animals were on sale as well. Obviously, we've already cracked into this one as well. That is all I got at Costco. Look at this sad, sad little pile for $76, I know. I also wanted to mention that my friend Jane has chickens. They are finally starting to lay. If you, have not seen my declutter video I did with Jane. I'll leave that down below. How adorable are these cute little eggs? She did some green and some brown. So these are from her chickens, so didn't have to pay for this. I ran into my discount store today, September 2nd, because it's a bad habit and I should really stop doing that. Because I always find deals and I cannot say no. However, this was only $9.48. Two Kodiak cakes, one is a muffin. These are such an amazing deal. I have. I have a hard time leaving them there. The chocolate chip, look, 79 cents. They're normally $5. I also have the protein balls. I might make this today. The Pillsbury Quick Bread Cinnamon Swirl, three of the plant-based pancake mixes. I don't know if this one's good, but we're gonna try and see what it's like. Three of the wild blueberry muffin mixes and three of the protein chocolate chip muffin mixes. And if I can get up early enough in the morning, I might make my kids pancakes for breakfast. Who's to say? Can I make waffles? Because in the morning, I want to make waffles. Oh, here we go. Here's a waffle option. I might do waffles. Waffles trump pancakes, in case you did not know. Now, one of my biggest secrets for doing a successful pantry clean out and keeping the grocery budget low is when you have the opportunity to stock up when things are good prices, you can stock up on fun new products to try. So you have a large arsenal to pick from during your month of no spending. I don't look comfortable on camera. Or low spending or shelf timber or whatever this happens to be. I don't get along with people. One of the things I've been doing over the last year and a half is shopping at Thrive Market. They are sponsoring today's video. They're gonna give you guys a deal today, so don't run away. Thrive Market is an online membership program. It's $5 a month when you do the annual membership. If you decide you don't like it, just cancel to give you your money back in the first 30 days, no sweat. But if you sign up with my link below, thrivemarket.com slash frugalfitmom, they're gonna give you 30% off your first order plus a free gift. And you guys, one of my favorite things about it is if you find the exact same product somewhere else for a cheaper price, they will match it, which means you will be getting the best deal on the items that you want. And you can shop and sort based on dietary needs, allergies that you might have in your household, whatever it is that you want to search for. So if you want, if you're doing keto, if you're doing whole 30, if you're vegan, 
If you are gluten-free, it is easy peasy to pick those options and sort. And they even have like meat, really high quality steaks, chicken, seafood, which I've also purchased. I'm definitely planning like a seafood night coming up. I'm very excited about that. All pulling from things that I have purchased earlier. And you can indeed sort by sale, <laughs> which is one of my favorite ways to do it. All of the packaging is recyclable and for every paid membership, they gift a membership through the Thrive Gives program. So if you want to apply to that, all you have to do is go to their website or you can do a paid membership and then they will gift a membership to a family in need, a veteran, a first responder, or a teacher. First link in the doobly-doo, thrivemarket.com slash frugalfitmom, 30% off and a free gift. Thank you to Thrive Market. Let's get back to more grocery hauls. It is September 5th and I just spent $23.52 on the following items. Two petite medley snacking tomatoes, $1.99 each with digital coupon. Five Mio mostly vitamins, that's Dave's favorite one. One Mio Sport, 99 cents each with digital coupon. Check out this deal, you're gonna die. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my gosh, when I saw this price, I knew it was time to stock up. Regular price is over $4 on these right now. I could not believe I found them. I got eight, there were probably a hundred. I also found this OJ for $1.52, or what? <laughs> A <laughs> dollar fifty nine. The kids will be thrilled with this one. You guys, I'm I'm so excited about this egg prices. These last a long time in your fridge, and my family loves eggs. Like for one breakfast, we could do an entire eighteen count carton, and it would be gone. I was all out of sour cream, and this one is very tasty. It's under two dollars. It is. It's a touch of a splurge, but once you've had really good sour cream, <laughs> it's really hard to go back. And a couple of. The Kroger brand sliced cheeses. These were on sale for $1.49 today. Also, a digital coupon, I believe. So I have two Munster, which is an excellent sandwich cheese, and two of the aged white cheddar. $23.52. Gets you like a tower of clearance eggs. Look at this. My friends, it is September 12th and I have not gone to the grocery store, but we did score in the garden produce department. We planted our garden this year over at my mom's house because she has these amazing garden boxes and she's uncomfortable with gardening. She's never really done it. So these are all the green beans. This is a one gallon bag for size reference. <laughs> we have these like yellow wax beans and then your like stringless greens, right? And then this whole bowl, which is probably the equivalent to a whole nother one of these. Squash variety that I cannot remember the name of, but they're kind of like zucchini. Um, my mom only kept one. A good amount of cukes. I have a couple of the like yellow round cucumbers and then these. We'll use up these cucumbers in tonight's dinner. Maybe two pounds of strawberries. They're really, really small, but I just picked these an hour ago. My neighbor grew honeydew and cantaloupes and ended up with too many and she offered, she was like, hey neighborhood, there's a box on my front porch. Come and grab some. So I grabbed one of those and tomatoes also for my mom's garden. A whole container. So here is the plan for all of this produce. These I I'm going to prep and freeze. It's so, so easy, guys. It's just you do a quick blanch. That's like a boil for two minutes. Dump into ice water, put in baggies, throw in the freezer. That's it. We'll eat this tomorrow, this today. The tomatoes, I am probably just gonna chop up and freeze as is and use them for chilies and soups later in the winter. The cucumbers are going with dinner tonight and then I'll save these and probably do a combination of the superhero muffins zucchini bread, and just like sauteed zucchini as side dishes for the next week. So even though I'm not really buying produce or anything, I did want to point out we got a lot going on right now with the garden harvest. Cost zero dollars. It is September 16th and I've spent $15.21 at Fred Meyer. Let me show you what I got. Their breakfast sausage was $1.99 a package. I got three of these, stuck them in the freezer. Found a sweet kale chopped salad kit for $1.79. Picked that up for an easy side dish. The half gallons were 99 cents each. As you can see, I'm several weeks away from the due date so far. Obviously jumped into that already. I got five. Uh, one's already gone. Because it's starting to get cold, yes, believe it or not, it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit every morning now. It's time to bust out the creamer to go with the hot chocolate. Uh, hazelnut's my favorite flavor, hands down, every time. Middle of the month, I wanted to mention my garden produce and what I do with it. So I haven't been canning any of my garden tomatoes right now. I've just been cutting them up, skins on, 
no seasoning, no nothing, putting them in these quart bags. My mom also has a ton of strawberry plants, so I also got some strawberries that I prepped. These peppers and tomatoes are really looking ready to go. These are also from the garden. So I'll probably dice all of these up, including the peppers, and just freeze them as is. They're really easy to add to chilies and things like that. And then here's my next batch of tomatoes that I will also add to my freezer produce. It's September 21st and I went by a farm stand, kind of. They used to be a farm stand, they retired. But I still do get emails. So he told me today, in the email, not me personally, but me in the email, that they're red potatoes they just dug up and it was $12 for a 25 pound box. They're best if you keep them in a cool place. I think I'm gonna stick them in the fridge outside. I do like to keep the dirt on until you're ready to use them. Keep some pressure. Okay, I think now is a perfect time to review how much we still have left in the house here at the end of September so we can make a game plan for like the last few weeks. I feel like we've done fairly well. To be honest, I haven't pulled almost anything from here at all, but I have moved all of my daily harvest smoothies up to um, this freezer for Dave to have for breakfast. So these were all downstairs, they're now up here. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, we haven't done much. This is still very full. In fact, we'll just, we'll just ignore that <laughs> completely. We'll just ignore that. It still feels like the pantry's pretty full as well. I do see a couple of holes, like there's some space here, there's some space here. There's a little space here. Like we're making a dent, but this is slow going. I think my problem is I just have all this pasta and canned goods and sauces and I don't feel like I ever cook with these. So I'm just gonna have to like start having pasta once a week. I don't even know. And and I do like stocking up on canned items for long-term food storage and then I don't use them. So here we are, like it's just, it's an issue. And then from my back to school haul, I did bring this up from downstairs. I think this is my last one of these. Our snack bin still pretty full. This snack bin is still pretty full. Garage freezer. There's a lot of protein out here. Here's my lasagnas that I meal prepped. I have a ton of Thrive Market meat in here, like a ton. I have this chicken, this fish, this, this fish, scallops over here. Oh my gosh, prime rib. Yeah, I mean, don't need to buy a prime rib for Christmas. I got it covered. All I really need to buy is maybe some produce, some milk, some vegetables. But other than that, we're pretty much set. So I might do one more grocery shopping trip in a few days. So I'll see you then. September 23rd, welcome to the last, the final grocery haul for the month of September. This is Fred Meyer. I ran in, why did I even go in? I happened to be in the area. I decided to walk in to see if there are any clearance deals. That my friend is something you should never ever do because this is what happens. I didn't need any of these products, but when I saw the good prices, the digital deals, I needed them. Did you know that $32 can purchase this pile of food? I know, it's crazy, right? So I started over by the clearance section and I saw this bread for $1.29 a loaf. This sugar-free, whole wheat, sliced, wide pan bread. I was going to make my own homemade bread and then when I saw this one on clearance, I thought, hey, that saves Christine some time. So I picked these up for school lunches. Uh, kids don't get free school lunches anymore like they have in the last two years. So we are definitely blowing through the sandwich and lunch products quickly in my house. Strawberries were $1.49 a pound, so I got one pound of that. This is gonna be, so my kids have a half day today for school. They'll be home at lunch. They didn't take lunch. This will be their lunch. So I'm about to pop this into the, not the freezer, into the oven right now. $4.49 for this large one. It's normally about eight. $2.99 for this small one. This is normally six. The sliced cheese was $1.49 each with the digital coupon, limit of five. I got five. I saw these salad starters for $1.29. All it is is kale, cabbage, radicchio, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. So you can add your own dressings, your own chicken, your own cheese, whatever. The three pound guy of oranges was three... Ugh. 349 I believe. I have a ton of small like grape and cherry tomatoes in my fridge and I figured if I got the goat log, I could do the viral pasta feta, except I don't use feta, I use goat cheese. Now if you missed some of my grocery hauls from earlier in this year, 2022, to see what I'm feeding my family, what I'm buying in 2022, I have an entire playlist of all of the things I have purchased down in the doobly-doo for you to check out. Math is hard, let's figure out what the heck I am doing. Now last month, 
Ugh, I spent $710. This month, I spent total for the month, $138. $138? No, that's wrong. $168. I promise I'm good at math. <laughs> that means averaged over the last two months, I was just a little bit over $400 a month for my family. And if you add up everything I have spent for the entire year of 2022, it's a lot of dollars. It is $3,692. But if you divide that by the last nine months, I'm averaging $410 a month in 2022 for my family of six. That includes three teenagers. That includes six athletes. They're all active, all those things. Yes, I did go through my pantry and freezers and refrigerators this month. But what's really sad is I did not make that much of a dent. So I think I just have more than I thought. I've spent the last eight years building this stockpile and it's a little eye-opening actually to see how long it takes to go through all of it, which is kind of fun. It's nice to know that I can get by for a long time with what I already have. So there are three months left in 2022. Am I gonna stick to my approximately $400 a month grocery budget for the entire you? For the entire year? You tell me, what do you think? What are you guys spending on groceries these days? If you wanna try out that deal from Thrive Market, 30% off your first order and a free gift. First link in the bloop below. I'll see you next month, bye.